Hi, Marcus Conti, investigative journalist and plaintiff in Conti vs. DSNY. What do we have here? What do we have here? Today's paper, Wednesday, actually yesterday, 8 p.m. Wednesday, December 6, New York uh, Daily News published an article, Sanitation Worker Treated Like Garbage Over Middle Eastern DNA. Let's talk about it, written by uh, Edgar Sandoval. Dovo. Daily News. So, what, so what's the story all about? Here's a guy. Uh, his name is Michael Fem, Femia. Yeah, Michael Femia alleges that once he mentioned he thought he might have some Middle Eastern heritage in his background, colleagues at his Staten Island garage turned him in. So he's a sanitation worker, and he took some. Uh, he took one of those D DNA tests, and it showed that he had some uh, Middle Eastern. <laughs> Middle Eastern heritage and the, the jerks in the Staten Island garage laid into him, right? What do I got on my head here? What is this shit? Come on. It's cat hair. It's cat hair over all over everything. Cat hair. This is this is fascinating stuff. I'm gonna tell you, they call him terrorist. So it turns out it turns out he's a thirty one year old Staten Islander. He he's an American born Caucasian male. <laughs> He's got a little bit of, a little bit of uh, Arab blood, and they're they're calling him, according to his the background, the you know, terrorist, Taliban, ISIS, Osama, Habib, are just some of uh, the names hurled at Femi, according to his Brooklyn federal lawsuit filed Tuesday. No joke, pow. It didn't stop there. He said he was getting wrongly. Here's where, here's where, here's where my face goes dry. Right? Here's where it's not funny anymore. It didn't stop there. He said he was getting wrongly written up by superiors for alleged performance issues as payback for complaining about his mistreatment. Wow. So he goes down to EEO. Who did he talk to? He talked to Miss Neal, right? It's DSNY. So he's in, he's in Staten Island. He goes down. He talks to. He, he makes his complaint in, in EEO. He complained about the mistreatment. And what happens? They lay into him, and there's no, there's nothing. They don't do anything about it. Right? Sad. It's sad, but true, you know. But here's the difference, right? Here's here's where I'm gonna I'm gonna take an opinion, right? Here's a guy, you know, basic sanitation guy, and. Uh, you know, he where is he? He was in the West Shore Expressway at a rotating officer supervisor. So this good Staten Island guy, probably. You know, this is this I could have went to high school with this kid, right? And um, but here's where it's here's where it's not funny. Here's a guy with 13 percent Arab blood, right? Right? You know, in DSNY in Staten Island, and that's right up there with being 100 percent white in Manhattan and Brooklyn enforcement, right? 13% white and in 13% in, in Arab in Staten Island, and you get mistreated. But if you're 100% white in Brooklyn enforcement or Manhattan enforcement, they lay into you in the same way, same false write-ups. Right? The only here's the other difference is that that guy, that Arab guy, targeted by I don't know. The article doesn't really say, but we'll assume because it's Staten Island. You know, there's a lot of like meatheads. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's a lot of guys, maybe, you know, white guys or, I don't know, real, real, you know, real Staten Island guys, whatever the color they are, who the hell knows. But for a 100% white guy to, to make a complaint and be attacked by a 100% all black staff, white guy, 100% white guy being attacked by blacks in Brooklyn and Manhattan, he's treated like a joke. This guy will be treated, he'll be, his, his case will be considered. Right, right. The Daily News is all over the the ethnicity thing. But if a white guy goes down there and complains about mistreatment, obvious mistreatment, false write-ups, you know, I'm the tallest guy in the room. Conti DSNY. I was the tallest guy in the room, and I'm standing on top of my fake write-ups and false performance evaluations. So it'll be interesting to uh, you know see what happens uh, in this case, but. But, uh, you know, hey, if, if uh, James, if we could get in touch with him, Michael Femia, Michael Femia, please step forward. I wanted to, he, it says in the article, though, he's, they, they kept asking him questions, and uh, 
his lawyers are um, telling him to keep quiet. So, so if his lawyers want to reach out to me, hey, I'm I'm here for you, man. I'm here for you. Give me a shout, man.